every game that we play, we're making some type of record. Some type of record. Fin fans up north, fin fans in the south, to the east, and to the west. What's better than this? More of this. Let's talk about it. Before we uh, jump into this game, just want to say if you guys are new to the channel, you guys like the content, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It's going to help us reach our milestones. And for everyone that is subscribed and everyone that's you know, getting t-shirts. We just want to say thank you, and we really appreciate it. We're putting a lot into this effort here um, to make this fun for everyone. And uh, with all that, just want to say thank you. Let's get to it. Well, Sunday's game against the Bears was... That was, uh, that was a good game. That was a very good game. I didn't expect it to be like a little shootout the way it was. Um, and it, it, it turned out to be a very very competitive game um, I would say there are so many things to uh, look at you know that we need to fix but you know let's look at everything that's right and everything that's gone well first off you know Tua is coming into his own right now I could feel that the team the, is finding its uh, Finding its chi, finding its mojo, because they're starting to do these things. It seems like they're starting to get stronger. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like when you when you see that superhero, you know, where he's staggering, and all of a sudden, you know, the the, the sunlight shines on him, and you you can see that they're starting to get stronger as they go on. And that's what the Miami Dolphins are doing. Uh, Tua, you know, he made records as the only NFL quarterback. Even great Dan Marino hasn't done this. He's passed for 300 yards, no INTs, and he had three passing touchdowns in the same game. That's two. I mean, and it, it's like, this <laughs> This is our team. We make records, right? But it don't stop there. We got Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, and those guys, as an NFL duo, are the best NFL uh, tandem wide receiver tandem ever I mean that's more the, 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 that that's over Clayton and Duper uh, Flipper Anderson and Hilliard um, Harrison and Wayne Reed and Lofton Bruce and Holt Jefferson and Joyner uh, Bilton Cough and Branch um, what is it Fenners and Hirsch whatever uh, Rice and Owens Cotter and Moss Swan and Stallworth Rice and Taylor and with this dubious honor, we're only nine games into the season, okay? And these guys are crushing it. And not to mention, Tyreek is close to, you know, eclipsing that 2,000-yard mark. And if he does that, that happens, he's going to be the only receiver in NFL history breaking Megatron's record of 1964 yards to eclipse 2,000 yards passing to go over that even in a season on a new team with a new quarterback, of course. And so, I mean, th there's a lot of things that's going on here with the Miami Dolphins. You know, um, the, the offense as a whole, you see the emergence of the core running back group. I mean, Wilson, he had nine touches for like 53 yards. So that lets me know right there. We start feeding Wilson. We're going we're gonna to have... Our first 100-yard run, I mean, to be honest with you, you know, if, if we could feed Wilson, like, he might he might clips over 800 yards if that's the case, you know, because we see so much happening with Tua and his growth and his coming into his own, like, like, like Neo, like, knows, you know, like, like Tua knows and he's he, he, it's starting to click for the entire offense. It really is. And it's like, you know, the the offensive line, I'm not going to say that they're the greatest, but you know what? These guys, ever since that Cincinnati game, the offensive line has picked it up a notch. I mean, they, they were penalized here and there, and, 
you know, cost us a couple dubs. But, I will say this, these guys are gelling together at the right time. You know, it's mid-season now. We do have a bye week coming up in, what, two more weeks, I think. And, you know, then we'll hop back into it after that. And that's going to be a real good telltale time to, to figure out, you know, what's going to happen. And right now, we are 6-3. and three. And, you know, I'm saying that, uh, I mean, this is a long stretch for me. But, you know, well, I'm not even going to say it. But I, I'm just going to be like, look, you know, the offensive line is looking good. Tua is looking great. The wide receiver corpse is fantastic. With the um, addition of Wilson, uh, he has, you know, automatically just uplifted our um, our offense and our running back core. And him and Moser, you know, just, just pounding it out. You know, we're going to have a formidable run game because there are lanes opening up. And... If, if Wilson would have got fed more, I, I know he would have went over 100 yards. You know, the, the uh, Bears came in averaging, you know, running backs averaging against the Bears coming in was like 4.4. And, like, we had, like, what, over three, and, well, we had over three and a half yards rushing. But, you know, the, the, the yards that we was gaining was chunk yards. And I'm telling you, you know, we, we would have we would have opened it up. But, you know, we would need to score early and often because, you know, again, you know, the, the, the Bears – we're taking advantage of our um, our rushing attack, you know, on defense. And that's something I'm going to jump into here momentarily. Um, I still think that uh, the tight end game probably needs to be stepped up a little bit more. You know, uh, both of our tight ends, you know, were pretty much inactive. You know, and, and the, the attempts that was given to them, you know, they were failed attempts. Uh, be it, you know, the balls were kind of like ahead of them. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, were they catchable? Maybe. I mean, because, you know, you look at the force you're running and the ball's right there. You know, could you dove for I don't know, you know. Um, but, you know, uh, they were a little bit, um, I, I would say they was inactive, you know. Um, our, uh, our special teams, um, something has to be done with Jason Sanders. I mean, Jason automatic Sanders, it's not so automatic. You know, he's like 11 of 15 now, and he missed that 29-yard field goal. And we need those. The score would have been 38-32 um, had he had made that. And, you know, I, I think that, you know, going further in, in, down the road here, we're really going to be dependent on his leg to lift us up out of, uh, you know, tight situations and, and to help us remain, you know, in the lead. And we, we're going to be dependent on him to do these things. And I, I look at, you know, um, uh, Morstead, you know, he's been great for us. He's been a great addition, you know, for our punting team. And he, he, he has really done a great job, even on that butt kick, you know, that was, he still got it off, you know. So, I mean, you know, Jay Sanders is definitely going to step the game up. Now, you look at the defensive side of things, and, you know, um, it's like, excuse me, I got some coffee going on here. It's like you look at uh, um, the the number of yards Justin Fields had. I think he had, like, over, you know, one in a, 175 or something like that, rushing the quarterback, and you know, he was just taking advantage of what was happening because, basically, you know, the secondary was doing their job. They, they were covering the receivers. But see, the thing is, though, it's like you can only cover the receivers for so long, right? You can only cover them for so long. And, and the quarterback is going to have to make a decision. You know, um, it, it, he's either going to have to run it or, you know, just try to get out of harm's way. And so, you know, he uh, decided to run. And he was taking advantage of the um, of the real estate that was in front of him. And, you know, he did good by that. I, you know, and I don't know if any um, defense, you know, in the top five could have, you know, managed that, you know, when you have, when you have, you know, subpar front line blocking and, you know, the quarterback is a running quarterback, you know, I mean, that's going to happen. Jason Allen has done that. Lamar Jackson has done that, you know, uh, or Josh Allen, sorry. Done that, and you know, the things are gonna things are gonna happen. But 
you know, in the end, we did corral him. However, though, uh, you know, we will have to do a better job of that, you know, moving forward. You know, maybe they have to be a spy on him consistently and keeping him on the inside, not letting him bounce to the outside. And, you know, just having that uh, the, somebody there in the middle just kind of like, you know, watching him, you know. And I, I think what it was, I think that we really put it on field to beat us. And, you know, he, he damn near did. But, again, you know, we, we did come out with the dub on that one, and we owned the head-to-head. -head. I think, you know, with the addition of Chubb, made a huge difference. Huge difference. If you guys didn't notice that, how many times they was holding Chubb, but they just wasn't calling it. I mean, Chubb was actually, he was getting there. He was pressuring him. And it was like letting our secondary do their thing. And that's exactly why... That's exactly why, you know, Fields is running because he wasn't comfortable in the pocket and the secondary was holding him down. So, I mean, you know, there, there's different aspects, though, you know, you know, why Fields was, you know, chewing up real estate. You no, know, because, you know, with Chubb out there and Phillips on the other side, you know, it, it, it boosted our defensive morale. If you did, guys didn't notice that and like, like when Ingram got that sack on him, I mean, it, uh, that was a mean sack, you know, it was like finally we get to him this and that and everything, but it's he was never comfortable in that backfield ever You know, and that's exactly the reason why we got Chubb. Chubb had us about two three different sacks, you know, had You know, he been like I don't know, Aaron Rodgers or somebody like that, you know, um, somebody who's not really mobile But still, you know, even with Aaron Rodgers, you know, he's still um, uh, a, a very good quarterback and I'm just saying, though, it's like there are different, you, you, it's like you had to pick your poison, I guess. You know what I'm saying? It was like, that's how it was. So, you know, and I love how the defensive line got after him, you know, with Chubb out there. The addition of Chubb, it really boosted up our entire defense, and you could see it. Um, yeah, there, there were some passes that, you know, uh, went against X, but again, you know, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. And it, it's just like X is still a formidable force out there. And, you know, um, Byron Jones comes back. You know, it, it's, it's you know, hey, hey, you know, we're just going to have that much more of a tougher defense, which I hope he does come back. You know, um, Kodu and Crossing, they did a pretty good job out there. You know, they get better each game, and I like that. Um and, you know, as a whole, I think it's all coming together. So, you know, with, with this with this win right here, with this game right here, I mean, this was a well-earned and deserved win. It was another step towards the postseason and the Super Bowl. And from here on out, that's how we're going to have to play. We're going to have to go into each week like it's a brand new week and play these teams to the end of the whistle. And we're going to have to get out early and just let people know we're not playing around, you know, and... That means, you know, take the P.I., you know, on, 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 you know, going deep or whatever and open up the lanes, you know, and, and start letting the running backs just, just start gouging at them, you know, getting them yak yards because that's what we were really doing. And so, you know, with, with this win, it's just a, uh, that was a, that was a very strong, contentious win right there. And again, it, it was a statement towards, you know, our, our our steps in this path towards the Super Bowl in the postseason. So that's my thoughts on it, you guys. You guys let me know what you think on it. If you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them below. If you guys new to the um, channel, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell if you like the content. It'll help us reach our milestone. You know, at the end of the day, we're all NFL fans. And on this channel, we are Miami Dolphin fans. But we love y'all all. all. And for all the subscribers that's here, you know, and that we have and people getting the t-shirts, just want to say thank you guys. And we're glad that you're supporting what we're doing. It's a lot of effort and a lot of work goes into the thought and, you know, just just the effort, you know, of, of having it here every week. You know, it, it, it's really a big deal. I just want to say thank you guys. Love y'all. So... <clears throat> Odd Gamble is a, a little series that we play um, while well, we get started with every Friday and we show the results um, of the series on Sundays before the games. Basically, Odd is the card and Gamble is the uh, chip there. And how it works is that we look at, 
you know, all the odds that could, you know, be in our favor of winning and we decide if it's going to be the odds and <clears throat> then for the gamble, what we do is we look at, you know, what the house is saying primarily and all the, 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 bet, the betting sites are saying and um, what some of the analysis are saying. So we look at that as gamble and then we just kind of run the two together and, you know, we let people choose who's going to be um, what, out of gamble and and uh, Sundays, we just show the results of, you know, the many um, votes that we got for Otta Gamble, and we show the winner of uh, what the what the what the th what the thoughts were on that. So if you get a chance, uh, just check it out, and love to have you play. It's just a little something fun that we do here in this community. And uh, with all that, thank you. Fin fans up north, and fans in the south, to the east, and to the west. What's better than this? Mo of this. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to take a look at our gear. Um, Clicking with the Fin Fan, you can check out the links uh, below. And also know that uh, your support with this um, helps our artists and it also helps uh, what we're doing here uh, with Clicking with the Fin Fan. And um, a good thing about it all is uh, you also get free shipping with that. So just uh, take a look at the gear that we got. Um, grab something for you, your booze, and if you know, your kids, whatever. And um, help support what we're doing here and we appreciate it a lot. Thank you.